Welcome back to Midday. We are on location here at the Ramada Kamloops and we have made our way up the stairs into the restaurant. We are here at Attaboy Memphis Barbecue Restaurant and I am joined by Chef Wayne Wong who is of course the head chef here at the restaurant. Thanks for being here, You're Wayne. Welcome. Thank you. So you are going to uh, take us through some of the, it, a popular dish, I, I guess you yes. could call this for, for Attaboy. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we are going to be making today. We are going to be making uh, St. Louis barbecue ribs today. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps of uh, the marinating and the seasonings and how we smoke it. Right, Is this a popular dish? Is this sort of one that you would really hope people order? Yes, I do. Yeah. All right, take us through. So what do we start with here? So I have a St. Louis ribs right now sitting here. And we're just going to season it with a, or marinate it with mustard right now. Okay. So we just put a little glaze on here. That's just regular mustard? Uh, yes. Okay. I would never have thought to put mustard on my ribs. Yeah, some do. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, just rub it. We'll okay. See. We'll do the other side too. Okay, I have a quick question for you, and this is maybe just for my own um, uh, knowledge. I just want to know, do you always have to remove the membrane from the ribs? Yes. Okay. Because that's one that I think is debatable among some people. Yes. Good to know. We heard it from the head chef. Yes. <laughs> it's removed. <laughs> and then it's all... Okay. So, in. mustard up. And then what's our next step here, Wayne? And then we're going to put our Attaboy Memphis barbecue rub onto it. Okay. That's, uh, that's like a particular uh, rub just made here? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, sprinkle that sprinkle on. on. Okay. Just going to sprinkle it. On there. And are you going to cover both sides then, Wayne? Yes, I will. Okay. Looks delicious already. So, what is this rub like? What What's in this rub? Um, two ounces of uh, onion powder, mm -hmm. uh, chili powder, mm -hmm. um, garlic powder, and chili. So a bunch of different spices. Yes. Smells really good. I wish people could smell this, but they can't. We don't have smell a vision. <laughs> <laughs> flip it over. Okay, so then do the same thing to that side. You betcha. So is that it? Just two steps? Yep. Mustard and the rub. Yep. Two steps. Wow. Very simple. Wonderful. You betcha. Okay, so this um, is obviously are you so what what happens now then Wayne do you put this into the oven do you have to barbecue this what exactly happens now after the rubs put on we put it into our smoker we use applewood and hickory uh, pellets the chips and uh, we smoke it in our smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit mm -hmm. and we cook it for approximately five hours and then in between we braise it yeah and then it comes out tender, fall off the bones, and then... We and there's a finished product. There is a finished product. Maybe yes. we can uh, show people the finished product, which is right about here. That's our finished product. Comes out of, the, uh, comes out of our smoker. Yeah, that looks delicious. Um, tell me this, how many of these do you have to prepare then in advance? Because if it takes that many hours to make, you obviously have to be a little bit more prepared just in case you get lots of orders, right? Yes, we prepare about... 14 to 28 ribs a day. We just get it ready to go and we're on the ball. Wonderful. Um, Wayne, what about uh, the restaurant in general? So this is obviously a really popular uh, thing that people would be ordering off of the menu, but um, the other things that maybe uh, you, you offer here, um, is it all barbecue, everything pretty much that sort of traditional barbecue dish? Yes, we have barbecue ribs. We have uh, uh, barbecue pulled pork, uh, barbecue pulled chicken, uh, half chickens, half slabs of ribs. Mm -hmm. Everything barbecue that you can dream of. You, you betcha. <laughs> out, out of boy. How are things here at the restaurant? Busy? Just getting there. Yeah. It's pretty busy. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for showing us how to uh, prepare this really popular uh, smoked rib uh, rack of ribs. And we really appreciate your time. And uh, it smells delicious. I might have to eat some because it's just 
tastes so good, I'm sure. So thanks for joining us, Wayne. Appreciate that. We're back here after a break. We're going to head up to uh, the City View Lounge in just a little bit. But after a break, we are going to be joined by music director Svetovar Vutev, who is going to give us a sneak peek into a couple of Christmas performances coming up with the Vivachi Chorale. Stay with us on Midday.